What's up YouTubers, thank you for tuning in this week and um, join me in the office this week is slightly different. Um, I have been away to Dorset, um, we stayed, uh, I forget the name of the place but it's just by Corf, Corf and Corf Castle. Uh, so me and Kirst, um, I managed to persuade her to do a romantic sunrise shoot uh, at Corf Castle uh, so I could photograph the castle. Uh, a massive thank you to Jack Lodge for hooking us up with a spot, um, not that it's a secret spot by any means, but I didn't know anything about the area and Jack told me where to go. And So if you haven't heard of Jack Lodge, he's on Instagram, uh, he does Facebook Lives as well, uh, I, think, I don't know if he does them weekly, but he's an amazing photographer anyway, based in Dorset, so if you haven't, uh, if, you, if you don't know anything about Jack then head over to his Instagram, I'll put the link down here or, so you can go and check him out. Um, it was an amazing weekend. It wasn't a photography based trip, hence the reason why we're doing this because I've only I've only filmed some B-roll and took a couple of shots. There was there was some atmosphere, we got a little bit of colour in the sky. Um, it was very hazy towards the end, as you'll be able to tell from uh, the second image. Um, it was quite a lot of atmosphere. There was not any light though. Um, but never mind. I, it was just nice to get away, um, nice to get the camera out. Um, although I was restrictive with what kit I had, because at the time I didn't have the A7C, which you're filming on. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that next week. Um, but I've also got now the Sony G Master. I don't know sure if this new camera's in a focus. 100 to 400. It's an absolute beast, a bit weighty, but it is proven to be one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, yeah, so I've sold my 70 to 200 and got the 100 to 400 and the A7C. Um, I will be getting the 20mm uh, 1.8 as well, uh, which I'll predominantly vlog with and then that will give me my wide angle. Um, so I'll have 20mm right up to 400. Uh, yeah, so I'll be fully kitted out, back to full strength. So at the moment I'm vlogging on the 24 to 70. But yeah, we'll talk a bit more about my kit, new kit and why in that next week. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to play the little bit of B-roll now and the little bit of footage I've got from Corf Castle. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's stuck with me, who watches me week in, week out. And um, yeah, just thank you so much. Make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe and hit that bell. And uh, I'll see you next week and you'll be notified. <laughs> and uh, have, hope you have a good Sunday. And uh, I'll speak to you later. Ciao. Bye for now. It's not that warm, is it? Yeah. Mine's like just the right thing. <coughs> Near as far in as I could be. Yeah, you can see, see it there. Look. You can crop it in there, can you? That's because of the colour, I think. Yeah. That's what you look like going on. Yeah. 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 Wow, what a morning. It's sort of socked in now, but we've got the best of both worlds. It's it was misty, um, it wasn't too cold, very calm, um, and then we got this lovely orange glow, like a real like, satsuma sun, and then it's, now it's gone behind this cloud above, but the temperature's dropped, the wind's picked up a little bit, and the, it's just starting to get socked in, and now we've got this really ethereal sort of look, all from the same shot. I have moved around a bit further, and um, just because I, I want to to set, put a bit more distance between the two turrets, the two towers, and plus I don't like this field down to my left. Um, so I have only got the 2470 uh, at the moment. Um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram or whatever social media, you will know that I've sold my 7200 and my 16 to 35. Some people might be thinking that's well, that's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Um, but it, there is method in my madness. Um, I plan on upgrading the vlogging 
going full Sony, uh, sort of interchangeable lens, lenses on both cameras, and I've gone, I've gone for the 100 to 400. So, yeah, so there is method to my madness. But so I'm limited to 24 to 70, but luckily I'm quite close. So 24, 70 mils it is long enough, really, to get the to get the standard sort of shot of the castle. Um, I would really like a 70 to 200. Go back a bit further and really pinpoint some details, but. What a place, and I must say thank you to Jack Lodge for uh, setting us up with a spot. Um, if you haven't, if you don't know who Jack is, uh, go. Have, I'll put his Instagram handle here, a link down to his channel down below, just because he deserves some credit for this for sure, and he's obviously an amazing photographer, a local to the area as well. So go check out Jack's work. Yeah, stunning, stunning location. So I think I'm going to call it quits. Uh, it's socked in. Kirsty's gone back to the car, and uh, this isn't strictly a photography trip. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry, it's a little short, little one, but uh, we'll go back to the studio now. Uh, talk about some new lenses, shall we? Right, bye for now. Uh, I might get a cheeky little shot on the way back.